everyone! Well, look what I've got here. Yes, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I was going to say the universe, but no, that's, that's not the title. It's The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And once again, I am observing Towel Day by reading from the book. Not from the... Well, actually, I am reading from the actual book because I'm going to read a part from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the book referred to within the book. And here we go. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy has a few things to say on the subject of towels. By the way, I hope you have your towel with you, because I've got mine. Um, a towel, it says, is about the most massively useful thing an interstellar hitchhiker can have. Partly, it has great practical value. You can wrap it around you for warmth as you bound across the cold moons of Jaglin Beta, you can lie on it on the brilliant marble-sanded beaches of Santraginus V, inhaling the heady sea vapors. You can sleep under it beneath the stars which shine so redly on the desert world of Cacrafoon. Uh, use it to sail a mini-raft down the slow, heavy river, river moth. Wet it for use in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Wrap it round your head to ward off noxious fumes or avoid the gaze of the ravenous bug bladder beast of Trawl, a mind-bogglingly stupid animal. It assumes that if you can't see it, it can't see you. Daft as a brush, but very, very ravenous. You can wave your towel in emergencies as a distress signal and, of course, dry yourself off with it if it still seems to be clean enough. More importantly, a towel has immense psychological value. For some reason, if a strag, strag, non-hitchhiker, discovers that a hitchhiker has his towel with him, he will automatically assume that he is also in possession of a toothbrush, washcloth, soap, tin of biscuits, flask, compass, map, ball of string, gnat spray, wet weather gear, spacesuit, etc., etc., Furthermore, the strag will then happily lend the hitchhiker any of these or a dozen other items that the hitchhiker might have accidentally lost. Pretend I did that with two hands. What the strag will think is that any man who can hitch the length and breadth of the galaxy, rough it, slum it, struggle against terrible odds, win through, and still know where his towel is, is clearly a man to be reckoned with. Hence, a phrase that has passed into hitchhiking slang, as in, Hey, you sass that hoopy Ford prefect? There's a fruit who really knows where his towel is. Sass, know, be aware of, meet, have sex with, pardon me, hoopy, really together guy, fruit, really amazingly together guy. Well, there you have it, and... I wish I could do a better reading, but this is about the best I can do with an American accent. And I can't do a British accent to save my life. Well, actually, I could do it to save my life, I guess, but it would not be pretty. It would be like Vogon poetry, let me tell you. Okay, so with that, toodaloo and hitchhike well and be seeing you, for those of you who are prisoner fans. Thanks.